Here comes Martin, the junior from Riverside, front of, right of center. Against Gottfried, he's dispossessed. Brown has the ball into the front court. Brown leaves for Janae. Janae with a tomahawk jam over Menno Dykstra. Guess who said? Menno Dykstra says Lamine Janae. It's 8 to 5 Matador. 5 0 run for Riverside. They lead 10 to 8. Right wing Brown for CSUN. Right of center. Catch and shoot three for Gomez, and he answers back. And that's a nice shot. Gomez missed his first three pointer that I thought for sure was going to go. He has now tied Kyle Curligan for the first single season all time in CSUN history, his 98th three of the year. Resets with Gomez in front for CSUN. Bounce pass left of the paint, Artest the third, back to the basket, hands it to Gomez. Left wing three off the dribble, and there's a new record. Terrell Gomez is 99-3. That is a new record single season for CSUN, breaking the record set by Kyle Curligan in 1991. Congratulations, Terrell, and the Matadors lead 18-14. Around. He's seen enough of Romain getting hit. Left wing three from Gomez, 100. <laughs> Gomez joins some rarefied air. That's his hunt. In front here is DJ McDonald. To the right wing for Dikembe Martin, screen from McRae. Good help by Kaba. Rejected by Kaba. McRae was on his way to the hoop, and Kaba swats it off the glass. Oh, boy, that's what you have Kaba for, and he's playing big tonight. Right angle, here's Brown. Nothing easy for the Matadors. Gomez in front, inside the three-point arc, into the paint strong, off to Kaba, who brings the house down with a jam. You know what, Kaba has missed slam dunks like that, but he really concentrated and threw it down. That was a big bucket for Kaba. I mean, this guy hasn't played in a month, and what an effect he's having tonight, AZ. Dikembe dribbling on the left side, working against Godfrey. Crosses over, into the paint, past Lamine, rejected by Kaba! Out of bounds. They're gonna say it's gonna stay with the uh, Highlanders, and they're going to review that. Left side, here's Gomez. Gomez for the win. Yes! It's not the win yet. 1.6 seconds left. 70 to 68. Here's the throw in the middle of the floor. Half court heat by McDonald. Low. And the Matadors escape again against Riverside. 70 to 68. How about young Terrell Gomez? <laughs> you know, he wanted the shot. He made the shot. But that shot by McDonald hit the front of the rim, Gazal. Well, we wanted to get the ball to Terrell, and uh, because you know, obviously he can make a tough shot, but also if he gets fouled, he's the best foul shooter too. So you want to have your best foul shooter uh, ball in his hands, and uh, we just executed the play really well. Kava set a great screen, Darius made a great pass, and uh, it's the way to run it. So uh, we did a good job with that one. Well, I've had some good ones. I had a guy named Scott Wood at NC State that became third leading three-point shooter in the history of the ACC, but I would put Terrell right up there with, with any of them. I think when, when he's open and has a good look at it, the uh, ball's going to be in his hands, and I, I have as much confidence in him shooting the ball as anybody I've ever coached. I thought he gave us a great lift, four block shots in the second half. I thought those were big, and uh, he changed the game. I, you know, their big kid is so big, and uh, he's strong, you know, big, heavy guy. And, you know, other guys were just a little bit, maybe not strong enough just yet for that. And Cobb used his strength and size. I thought he was uh, really good in the second half. And where we had to overcome a lot. You know, we didn't shoot the ball very well, uh, didn't defend very well. Um, but we hung in there and found a way to win. And sometimes uh, you just got to win an ugly game. And tonight I thought that was one of those where we didn't do a lot of things well, but still found a way to win.